Disney doll story. Clone yourself for five dollars. What a good idea! <laughs> I'm so excited to meet my clone. Yay! Let's go home. You can do everything that I don't want to do. Hello, I'm a bunny. Hello, I oh, have hello, a I'm another well, bunny. Well, somebody did. Did someone Why ask for I do another one? Hello, I'm Stop a clone. Stop creating clones. Somebody asked for another one. Hi everyone. Today we are going to replicate a toy using a mold. The mold should take about 30 minutes to one hour to create, and you can do this project for under five dollars if you already have some of these items at home. So let's get started. First, we need the toy that we are trying to replicate. In my case, this bunny LPS. I'm trying to make custom toys, and I need two bunnies. But I can't find another bunny, so it's time to make a toy ourselves. First, we will need silicone caulking. I got this from Home Depot for about four dollars. The bigger container was cheaper by weight, but I just bought the smaller tube. Next, we need some soapy water, and it has to be made with dishwashing liquid soap. In my case, I'm using sunlight. Mix the soap with water for about one to ten ratio. This will make silicone to cure faster, so we are not staring at our mold to harden for 24 hours. Next, you will need some leftover plastics, Vaseline, and some tape. Cut out the plastic into a long strip so that you can encase the toy inside. Use some tapes to create a box looking like this. I should have covered the toy with Vaseline here, but I forgot to do it. And you will see the bunny lost some painting when I was separating the mold from the toy. So cover the toy with Vaseline petroleum jelly. Submerge the toy under soapy water and squeeze some silicone into water, and start molding the silicone around the toy. Don't press the silicone too hard; just kind of let it. Sit around the toy. As soon as the silicone touches the soapy water, it starts to harden. So within about 30 minutes to one hour, silicone will get very hard. Make sure you cover the toy completely with silicone. Now, if you don't want to risk touching silicone, then you can just do this outside of the soapy water and let it sit for 24 hours, and silicone will harden eventually on its own. Make sure you fill it from both sides. After about 30 minutes, press the mold and see if it feels hard to touch. Then, using an exacto knife, cut the mold into two halves. Cut it from the side. Don't cut it completely. Leave some area attached so you can enclose the mold again after you take out the toy. And here is the completed mold. Next, we just need to stuff this mold with clay to replicate the toy. Let's also work on the bunny's body. This time, I am going to put the Vaseline petroleum jelly all over the toy, so it's going to be easier to release from the mold. We forgot to do this for the head. Again, we'll do the same thing. Submerge the toy in water, squirt some silicone into soapy water, and kind of let silicone mold around. The toy. After about 30 minutes, take it out of soapy water and, using an exacto knife, cut the mold into two halves. Just be careful not to cut yourself. Next, to get some clay, any clay. I'm using air dry modeling clay, so I don't have to bake it afterward. And just stuff the mold with clay. And press it hard. Get rid of excess clay, and then let the clay dry. Once it's dried, it's going to look something like this. Take it out of the mold, and then we are going to have to cut out all these excess clay. Using an exacto knife, I shaved off the excess clay, and this is how the toy looks afterward. Now let's paint our new replica. 
I'm using an acrylic paint. Here is the intermediary result. I used a pen to draw the eyes. And here is the end result. A toy replica that we can customize. And I can create as many bunnies as I like and possibly cause bunny infestation if I want to. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. See you next time.